kwa majina kama nilivyoeleza naitwa Dennis Nagaka from uh, one of the proprietors up in Las Vegas whatever happened uh, it's a very unfortunate incident uh, where this officer came here as he was taking whatever he was taking he decided to withdraw his firearm and uh, killed two of uh, two ladies from this place and two bouncers are now critically ill in the hospital uh, the incident that happened has affected our businesses badly right now for over the years the business around here has been running smoothly with a lot of clients flowing in and out of this place but since the incident happened uh, the flow of clients has uh, reduced this is because the people the clients wale tunatarajiwa kwa kitembelea wanahofia usalama yao wakifikiria these people were supposed to take care of them as security officers that's the same people that are coming here armed with the intention we thinking that these people are the people who are going to take care of us and our security that the same people that are bringing security to our businesses and now they are helping run our businesses down especially during this month of december when we expect to be making sales and kills so that we can be able to survive through the month of january and february we are requesting the government to please kindly not to allow this guy to be released <coughs> not to allow this guy to get his freedom not to even issue him with a police bond or a cash bail because uh, we believe that this person is not uh, safe for to stay around uh, uh, the members of the public because of his indisciplined actions that he has been having previously and uh, it's well known and documented that this guy and his indisciplined nature this guy is going to interfere with uh, the investigations that are going on and uh, the security of the other two guys that are still alive and struggling for their lives in the hospital cannot be guaranteed because of the history that this guy already has we kindly request that this guy be detained and uh, not to be released on cash bail or anything until justice is served ni haya tu morning everyone uh, it is of great morning everyone it is of great sadness that today we are discussing the demise of uh, uh, two uh, able business uh, ladies who are trying to work so hard to help this economy grow uh, what is surprising to to this occasion is that a police officer was given a very warm welcome served well by the hoteliers the waitress but at the end of it uh, when being asked for the bill the figure is in public domain of 16000 instead of uh, doing what is necessary he did an awkward taking a, taking a gun from 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 his side and making the life of innocent kenyans to come to uh, a still so this is what i'm requesting as an opinion leader in akuru west constituency that the ig had, had already spoken yesterday night uh, other stakeholders should come on board like uh, the civil right activists uh, leaders whom we elected should also discuss this matter into details the officer in question should not be given free bond as my as my friends have already spoken about uh, next to this matter this is an economic sabotage because the business uh, community around this place the business has already been affected how are they going to restore the faith of of the loyal customers if this matter is not uh, worked on expeditiously then uh, the business in this area is going to collapse so are we making the economy grow or we are, or we are undermining this economy and especially those who have been affected the owners of this of this environment of las vegas please let justice prevail for the families of uh, of, uh, of of the late uh, madam laura uh, madam ann and even the two bonzas who are still uh, nursing 
the wounds. Let justice prevail and let the compensation be done in a manner that is acceptable in a court of law according to the constitution. My request, my final request. Chapter 6 of the constitution talks about integrity. Our courts, other stakeholders, if somebody is not fit to be in, in uniform, is not fit to be in an office, why do you tolerate? Thank you. Uh, yale ambayo yanatembea kwenye mitandao na yale watu ambao wanasema ya metendeka, ningependa kuambia wanaoeneza maambo ambayo hawajui yaliyo tendeka hapa, wafuatilie wajue ukweli. E, sisi tulikuwa hapa, mambo ambayo yalifanyika tumejua na yanajulikana na sisi yenye tuna biashara hapa tumekuwa affected o, wale ambao huwa wanakuja hapa wameanza kuwa na uoga ambao wanasema askari wanakuja wanaingia hapa wanatoa bunduki wanadhuru maisha ya watu wengine so yale ambayo ningependa kuwaomba kwamba ni county government ya Nakuru iwe lenient na isaidie ambao wako hapa wenyewe wamehurudhika hapa hivi sababu ile mambo imefanyika hapa ime affect watu kadhaa biashara na familia ambao wale wameondoka wenzetu na marafiki so ningependa kuomba kwanza imesemekana kuwa askari ambao wanakuja hapa wanatoa bunduki na kudhuru maisha ya wengine ni kitu ambacho kinatendeka na ningependa kwanza serikali isaidie kwa mambo kama hayo mtu akikuja hapa kama ni askari na si hapa peke yake ni places zingine kadhaa mtu anaacha bunduki yake mahali anafaa kufanyia kazi anakuja hapa hii ni mahali ya starehe na kama hao ambao wameondoka ni wenzetu na biashara ime, imeharibika hapa serikali ikuje kati isaidie kama ni compensation ya hawa watu na haki in fact ile ambayo tunatetea zaidi ni haki ya wale ambao wameondoka na wale ambao wako hospitali kuna mabonsa yenye wako hapa na sidhani maisha yao itakuwa sawa mtu akawa amepigwa risasi na kazi ambayo ile anafaa kufanya itakuwa sawa kabisa so mimi ningependa tu kuomba kama ni koti ambazo tuko nazo hapa na kuru zisaidie hiyo kesi iendelee na iwe na haki sababu hawa askari mambo ambayo tunasikia saa hii ni mambo ambayo si ya kufurahisha so kama mtu kama huyo anafaa kwanza ashikwe e, aekwe ndani asiachiliwe na free bond ambayo nasikia bado anaachiliwa na free bond mambo hii ifuatiwe haki na kama ni county government ya Nakuru e, kuna wale ambao protocol inafaa kufuatiliwa so everything should be done according to protocol e, step one step at a time mambo ifanyike vizuri na biashara irudishwe na watu ambao wanastahili kukuja pande hii waendelee kukuja what i can assure people is that this place is safe and that issue cannot happen again we are taking necessary precautions so that at least the business can go on and people can feel safe whenever they come to this place vegas is a safe place to come and this thing will not happen again with the help of the county government and the help of our our revealers here who usually come to support our businesses. Thank you.